Hello students, welcome back to another edition of my science lesson for PSC. And with no further delay, we want to go into today's objectives. The objectives for today, we want to focus on sound, two, sound wave, three, vibration, and experiments. So we're going to cover some experiments that has to do with sound. And remember, you can subscribe for quick access to all videos that will be posted. So with no further delay, let's go straight into identifying what song is. Song is a form of energy produced by a vibration or a back and forth movement of an object. Song is a wave of vibrations spread from its source of its matter. The more vibrations a wave have, the more energy, the louder the sound. The faster the vibrations or the frequency, the higher the sound. How high or low a song is, is called the pitch. Song waves are vibrate particles and produce a sound. The vibration sends song waves throughout the ear and transfers kinetic energy from one place to another. Then song waves, song vibrations occur in waves that go out in every direction, repeated patterns of molecules spreading apart and squeezing together. All song is carried through matter as song waves. All waves are produced by a vibrating source. A wave is started with a vibration and its frequency is the same as its source. The vibration travels from one location to another. Some wave is produced by a vibrating vocal cord. Radio wave is produced by accelerating electrons in a transmitter. Some waves are detected and how? The shape of the human ear helps it collect some waves in the following sequence. Your outer ear collects some waves and reflects them into a tiny tube called the ear canal. They go through the eardrum and some waves then strike the eardrum and make it vibrate. The middle ear contains three tiny connected bones called a hammer, anvil, and stirrup. They carry vibrations to the inner ear. How do your ears hear sound waves? Vibration travels through the ear canal. Then the sound waves vibrates the eardrum, which moves the three bones in the ear, called hammer, anvil, and stirrup. All right, so we have a question and a quick experiment here. The question says, which glass soda bottle in the pitcher of bottles filled with various amount of water would have the highest pitch when tapped? Then it says explain your answer and as you can see, there are four bottles with different amount of water. And the answer is, it says, tapping the bottles causes the glass of the bottle to vibrate and produce sound. The water dampens these vibrations, so the less water in the bottle, the faster the bottle vibrates and the higher the pitch. So again, the less water in the bottle, the faster the bottle vibrates and the higher the pitch. All right, let's do another investigation. It says investigate pitch. It says, first, take your four glass bottles of the same size. Two, fill the glass bottles with different amounts of water. Three, blow across the top of each bottle. Then four, you find out what happens. So when you blow across each bottle, you will realize that the bottle with less water has a lower pitch. And a bottle with the most water has the highest pitch. Then it says the more air there is in a bottle, the lower pitch the song it makes. Again, here's another example. It says pitch in flute, bottle if we blow. So if you blow on each bottle, if you can see the bottles, they have different length of water. It says a short air column. So the more water you get the higher pitch and the less water you get the lower pitch. And remember, this is for when you blow on each of the different bottles. So when you blow on each of the different bottles, like in a flute form, the less water you get a lower pitch, and the more water you get a higher pitch. Then with the experiment when it comes to straw, if you can see that the straws, they are cut in different sizes. It says, so a smaller vibration portion means a shorter wavelength. This ends up meaning a higher frequency. A simple way to think of this is that a smaller vibration length can flutter faster than a longer length that's bigger and heavier and harder to get moving. So remember, a small vibration portion means a shorter wavelength. This ends up meaning a higher frequency. Then if you can see on the picture, it says, the sound of your voice vibrates the can and this causes the strings to vibrate. Our ears collect the sound vibration, sends them to our brain, then we hear the sound. Remember, the sound goes to our eardrum. All right, so here's an experiment when it comes to different bottles with water. You have the one where they're blowing it, and you have the next experiment where they're tapping the bottle 
with the iron rod. So when it comes to blow across the top of the bottle, whenever you're blowing the bottle, remember the more water, the higher the note, and the less water, the lower the note. And remember that's for blowing across the bottle. Then to top the bottle, whenever you top the bottle, the more water, the lower the note, and the less water, the higher the note. So there's a difference between topping the bottle and blowing on each bottle. Remember when you blow across the top of the bottles, the higher notes come from the bottle with more water, and the lower note come from the bottle with less water when it comes to blow on each bottle. Then when it comes to topping the bottle with an iron rod, remember when topping the bottle, the lower note come from the bottle with more water, and the higher note come from the bottle that has less water. Then here's a picture that has a low frequency and high frequency. And remember for PAC, you could just look at the example and you could tell that the low frequency, they're spread apart. The high frequency, they're close to each other. So that's the difference. Just looking at the picture, you could easily tell the difference between a low frequency and a high frequency. And to continue, when it comes to blowing in a bottle, it says, blow over the lip of a bottle. Part of the air stream is diverted into the bottle. Then if you can see, air pressure is inside the bottle. Then remember what is very important. It says, the sound is created by air vibrations at the lip of the bottle. Then again, remember what is very important is that the sound is created by air vibrations at the lip of the bottle. So remember when you blow over the lip of a bottle, the part of the air stream is diverted into the bottle. Then air pressure is inside the bottle. But a very important part is that the sound is created by air vibration at the lip of the bottle. For a quick summary, it says songs travel from the source through a medium to the receiver. The source is where the song is produced. The medium may be a solid, liquid, or gas. Air is the most common medium. The receiver is a person or thing that receives the sound. Song travels in all directions. Out to the side, down and up. Song travels better and faster through solids and liquids than through the air. Song can be hard, soft, high, or low. We hear songs with our ears. Song vibrations are collected by our ear flaps and pass along the ear canal. These vibrations make the thin skin like eardrum vibrate. These vibrations pass through the rest of the ear, that is, the middle ear to the inner ear, and messages are sent by nerves to the brain. The brain interprets the vibrations as songs. All this happens very, very quickly. Song travels slower than light. So remember, when it comes to song and light, light travels faster than song, so song travels slower than light. Again, thanks so much for tuning in to this lesson. Another lesson coming up very soon, so stay in tune. And remember, you can subscribe for quick access to all the science and other videos for PSC. Stay in tune, share with the standard six student or parents. And thanks so much for tuning in. Remember again, subscribe for more videos.